was speaking with us one evening at dinner. She said, in the society, we are able to learn of so many very fine crafts with the calligraphy and illumination techniques to beautify a page beyond recognition. <laughs> Hours and hundreds of styles of embroidery, not for the purpose of making clothes to get through a day, but for tapestries and lovely kerchiefs and things like that. Wouldn't it be neat if we were able to learn about real practical everyday things that people needed to live? You know, things like thatching a house. I'd love it if someone taught us a class on thatching a house sometime. Or, or like wattle and daub. Now, for those of you who don't know, wattle and daub is weaving together sticks and then plastering it with a mixture of mud and, and animal, yes, poo, <laughs> <laughs> and things uh, of clay of such nature pressed into the weaving of, of those branches and sticks to make walls or to make fences and the like. That would be neat. In fact, Warriors and Warlords is an annual event where we have lots of time here in the North Shield. We could do something like that there. Many years ago, one particular Warriors and Warlords got a nickname. See, people get lazy. Warriors and Warlords becomes WW. But people are lazy, and that's too much. And it becomes Dub Dub. If you hear people talk about Dub Dub, what they're really talking about is Warriors and Warlords, which long ago were two separate events that people put together because they were too lazy to have two. <laughs> Together they could have an even bigger, more fun event. And one year, naturally, that event was called Glub Glub, when the rains flooded the site. Flooded the site. Now you know what you need to know to understand two words in, in the chorus. Oh, and Kudrun, thank you for loaning me your tune without knowing. <laughs> haul on the oars, laddies, haul on the oars. Our wattle and dog ships won't reach foreign shores. We'll sink neath the waves and we'll all cry glub glub. But we know we'll build fun at next year's dog dog. Stroll contemplating life's great mysteries. Our wattle and dog maze is certain to please. We serve with our building and guide through the haze. When things seem their darkest, our friends light the ways. Haul on the oars, laddies, haul on the oars. Our wattle and dog ships won't reach foreign shores. We'll sink neath the waves and we'll all cry glub glub. But we know we'll build fun at next year's dog dog. Vigils galore, boys, and for peers by the score. Our new vigil hut will hold two dozen more. Our wattle and dog king and wattle dog queen have made us all peers, so we know that they're keen. <laughs> haul on the oars, laddies, haul on the oars. Our wattle and dog ships won't reach foreign shores. We'll sink neath the waves and we'll all cry glub glub. But we know we'll build fun at next year's dog dog. With sticks and with mud and with straw, if you please, our wattle and dog walls will go up with ease. We're covered in mud from our heads to our toes, but we've only got 300 more feet to go. <laughs> haul on the oars, laddies, haul on the oars. Our wattle and dog ships won't reach foreign shores. We'll sink neath the waves and we'll all cry glub glub. But we know we'll build fun at next year's 